Welcome! We're going to work on solving a quadratic equation using factoring. So you can see in my example I have a quadratic equation and we know that because we have this squared variable. Now watch how factoring allows us to find both of our solutions. Now you can factor using whatever method you want. Uh, I'm going to use what is known as reverse FOIL. And the way this method works is I think about how FOIL puts together two binomials and when working in reverse I think alright what two binomials should my quadratic equation split into? So let's see for my first terms I think what times what would equal a y squared? Well the only option for that has to be a y and another y. Sure enough y times y equals y squared so that'll take care of the f. Now I jump over here to my last terms and I think, okay, what two numbers would multiply to give me a 35? Well, let's see. I guess one option that I have would be 7 and 5. So I'm going to go ahead and put those in here. All right. Now one last thing to do when, when using reverse FOIL is to check that my outside and my inside terms combine in just the right way to give me a 12. So y times 5 would give me a 5y, 7 times y would give me a 7y, and 5y plus 7y equal 12y. So sure enough, my outside and inside terms check out as well. This means that I have taken my quadratic and factored it properly. All right, now once you have your quadratic factored, you want to take each of these factors here and set each of those equal to zero. So this really simplifies the problem because now instead of worrying about exponents or anything like that, they're gone. All we have is this equation, y plus 7 equals zero, and this one over here, y plus 5 equals zero. So now let's go ahead and solve each of these separately. For this guy, just have to move the 7 to the other side by subtracting. And we'll get an answer like y equals a negative 7. Over on the other side, let's see, um, looks like we'll have to subtract a 5 from both sides. This will give us an answer, y equals a negative 5. So sure enough, there we have it. We have two answers to this quadratic equation. We have a negative 7 and a negative 5. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.